I'm Bambi Francisco for Vader News. Well, increasingly, your mobile phone will be able to alert you to who's around you and what's around you without you having to lift one finger. Well, that's the hope of at least one company, Aloka. Joining me to talk about Aloka is CEO Sanjeev Agrawal. Sanjeev, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. The idea of being away from home and knowing which of your friends are around you or which of your favorite restaurants are around you um, and, and what's happening locally has, has been a vision for quite some time. Why is the time ripe to offer this service today? Right. Uh, so there are three things that are different today, Bambi, than they were before. Um, the first one is phones are just a lot more capable. Um, you can do a lot more with uh, knowing where a person is. You are, uh, a lot of companies offer location as a commodity. Um, lots of phones like the Android phone, the iPhone, even the Blackberry, you're able to know where the phone is almost all the time. Mm -hmm. The second thing that's um, happened is people are a lot more able to download applications through places like the iPhone App Store. And so there is the ability to get distribution of some of these applications that wasn't possible before. And thirdly, and this is where Aloka comes in, there are technologies like Aloka's that allow what we call proactive push, meaning we're able to detect in real time uh, where a user is, what their interests are, who their friends are, and over time develop enough knowledge about them as to what kind of a set or a cluster or a segment they belong to, to be able to be very smart and picky about pushing the right content to them. So as opposed to the, in the old days, everyone talked about a coupon from Starbucks or a coupon when you're walking down the street. Mm -hmm. We actually don't believe that those are really things people are looking for. But now the sophistication of the back end on the server and the sophistication on the front end on the client is such that you can in a very simple, user-friendly way deliver content to the right person at the right place at the right time. And that's, that's still a big challenge, trying mm -hmm. to deliver the right content to that person because you really have to understand the content, context that's around right. that person. So what's the best way to understand the context, whether, you know, time of day, G location, right. GPS, but the person's preferences. Right. Um, h how do you do that? What's the right. best, what, how are you tackling that problem? Sure. So at a high level, this problem has been, uh, as you said, around for a long, long time, and people have taken various approaches. You know, Amazon has the approach where they do collaborative filtering. You know, mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, if you like this book or people who bought this DVD also uh, bought and these Netflix other. And Netflix does it with movies. And Netflix do does it with job. movies. So part of, um, of, of uh, what we do is similar to that. So we see the kinds of content that you have consumed in the past and how much time you've spent on there. Or if you've told us, if you've expressed preference, um, then it's clear you like, you're a Starbucks fan because you've added what we call the Starbucks channel onto a loca. And I'll show you that in a second. But um, even without you expressing that preference in the background, we know what people around you are doing and the types of things that they're interested in. We know based on your past behavior, the types of things you have, um, not expressively, but um, we're able to infer the sorts of things that you look for. You might look for niche coffee shops as opposed to big brand names. And we'll know over time you're the type of person who prefers local coffee as opposed to uh, brand names. And how's that based on my activity on a mobile phone that you know that I like local, right. that you know I'm, I'm attending, I'm at a right. local right. coffee shop as opposed to a Starbucks? So the surrogate would obviously be if you're using a loca yeah. and when you go into the coffee channel, you um, either have explicitly opted not to put Starbucks on it or Pete's okay. on it, um, or when you're, f you're flicking through the coffee shops available to you, you right. end up spending a lot more time on the local coffee shop. So if you start seeing that somebody always clicks like Pottery Barn, Starbucks, Best Buy, you're like, okay, this person doesn't like the local places they right. typically like, so right. the name brand places. And we won't know that person, we'll know them as part of a cluster right. of people who have that preference for big brands. Right, and now you can make recommendations based on that preference for local right. or national brands. Absolutely, that's one part of the equation. The other part of the equation, of course, like you said, was also time of day, day of week, where people's behaviors are different around lunchtime and dinner time, and people's behaviors on weekends are different. So the types of things you might be looking for, entertainment, music, mm -hmm. movies, mm -hmm. um, uh, it will be very different in the evenings and on weekends than during the day. But you'll store that and you'll remember what you're searching. That's what, right. What you, the channels that you're choosing. That's right. It, not what you're searching, right. but the channels you're choosing. Correct. So let's, let's give me a demo and show me how this works. 
Sure. So um, this is the Aloka client um, where I have customized this to include the sets of what we call channels that I'm interested in. So how many the, channels do you have? So I currently have um, about 20 channels. And how many does Aloka have? Um, so Aloka has a total of about 50 that okay. you could choose from. Okay. It initially comes with roughly a dozen. Mm -hmm. And then I've chosen to add some from our app store, if you will, in, mm -hmm. the, in the iPhone analogy. Um, some like music or there's a channel here called Great Dad, which is a, it's a parenting resource. I'm a dad and That's at, right. any, at yeah. you know, any point during the day I can just go in and see um, all the things that I could be doing with my kids. So let me just pick one. Um, apparently, there is a the Berkeley Playhouse is presenting once on an island, and they know that it's in Ber you're around Berkeley That's in the right. Berkeley area, so they're only going to show you what's in the Berkeley area. That's exactly right. Okay. Um, and then I can f go through everything else that's happening here that has been rated as kid friendly. Mm -hmm. And if I were here with my daughter, we mm -hmm. might just go see something. Um, if I go back to the main deck, um, there are things like music. So I go in here, and apparently. Uh, there is a, I don't know who the, oxygen, who the couples are, but mm -hmm. there is the Oxygen Cafe that's hosting them um, through to, uh, starting February of, uh, of this year through to January of next year. Um, and I could go see the show. Mm -hmm. um, and I could flip through, you know, 20 of these and decide, hey, I really like Haitian folkloric rhythms. Mm -hmm. um, so the options being delivered to me here are based on what's around me, where am I, mm -hmm. what have I seen before, who are the people around me that have a loca and have seen that channel and what do they like? Mm -hmm. And the key to your business is really getting people, the users, yeah. are crowdsourcing these channels. Yep. And uh, so you can have millions of, of different channels. Right. Um, absolutely. So we started a loca with a set of what we call professional publishers, right? So you see Yelp restaurants and you right. see music from Eventful and there is the Google Maps API, we have Craigslist in the mm -hmm. Deals channel. Mm -hmm. So there's about 15 publishers here. Um, but now we're starting to, like I said, Great Dad is a great example of a publisher that, you know, no offense, but you may not have heard of. It's right. not a Yelp. Right. But he's got awesome content on things to do with kids. Right, right. And if you're a Vintner in Napa that's got great things to do in Napa, if you are a Pittsburgh Steelers fan and you have the 500 bars in the country that Steelers fans like to watch Steelers games at, you can go create a channel. And now the nice thing is that you can create a channel here and you're, going to, you're also going to make that available across all the other phones that you're on, right? So you're on a BlackBerry, yep. this is a BlackBerry. What else are you on right now? So currently we've launched on the BlackBerry and the Android platform. Um, the others are coming very, very soon. And the iPhone is out in a month? Um, or so? The iPhone will be out soon. Uh, yes, in, in a September. month or so. Okay. Well, we're going to have to wrap it up there, but you're going to stick around for a couple other interviews. So, Sanjeev, um, just stick around. I've been speaking with Sanjeev Agrawal. He's the CEO of Aloka. I'm Bambi Francisco.